Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is fifth video in Palace Remote Application Server tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to publish application in Palace Remote Application Servers from step by step and how we can um, publish the application uh, from remote desktop services uh, server and how user can use that application at their end. So, let's see what is in my demo environment so we have four virtual machine in this demo environment so the first virtual machine is win 2 k 12 dc01 this is my active directory and dns server so uh, you can see active directory and dns services are running on this machine and the server name is win 2 k 12 dc01 and my domain name is victorinfosol.com so this is my domain controller and the second server which we have is Paldor01 so you can see we have a uh, Paldor01 uh, where we have installed our uh, Paldor remote application server and I'm going to log into a Paldor remote application server so here is our Paldor's console and next we have two RDS server which is RDS01 and RDS02 and both are added to my um, farm here you can see under the VD, uh, RDS session host you can see both the agent is uh, as ok status so both the servers are added so this is RDS01 see remote desktop services installed on this machine see RDS01 and this is my RDS02 so this is my setup which we are going to use and you can see you can publish the application by clicking here and all the ser servers in form and select the servers which you want to publish so you can, see this. Uh, you can do this so you can also select the individual servers if you want to publish so I'm going to select all the servers inside and click next so it's going to uh, uh, scan the servers both the servers these two servers and giving you going to give you the a list of all the application which is available on that uh, both the servers so you can see these are the applications which are available to for the publishing so what I'm going to do I'm going to publish MS Office package here so currently you can see no MS Office is here so what I'm going to do I'm going to install MS Office on both the machine and then we are going to publish the MS Office on uh, uh, by using the Pulse remote application server so I have mounted the MS Office 2016 um, ISO here on my DVD drive on so I'm going to just click on continue and install and same I'm going to do on my RDS 02 otherwise it's not going to give you the you know, scan result if we don't have the both application same application installed on both the servers so you need to make sure if you are going to publish any application and farm and you are going to use all servers inside you must have to have the same application installed on both the servers which you are going to both or all the servers which you, uh, which you have in uh, this parallel group uh, application publishing site and group so you need to make sure that so we are going to select this and then we, we are going to run the scan so just wait for some time once the installation is done we reboot this server once and then we are good to good to go and publish these applications and we'll see in next videos we are going to install RS a client and then we are going to use this application and see how we can run this application uh, from the end user perspective so let's wait for some time to get this MS Office installation done and then we are going to publish those applications so for now I'm going to go pause the recording for now once the installation is done I'm going to resume the video from there so pausing the recording for now so now you can see MS Office installation is completed now it's always uh, good to restart the uh, servers whenever you install any uh, um, like application and verify 
the application is working perfectly fine and the server having no issue post installing that application so that's why I have uh, installed MS Office and then I'm going to reboot my server and uh, once the server is rebooted I'm going to see my MS Office is working fine and then we will proceed to publish MS Office package to the cust uh, customer or client by using the parlors so just I'm going to verify so I'm going to log in on my both RDS servers and now if I go here add or remove programs you can you will be able to see MS Office 2016 is installed so this is good and now I am going to launch my MS Office package like Word, we have PowerPoint all together so I am going to launch on both the machine and verify this is working good so we have same application set of application on both the servers like uh, RDS 1 and RDS 2 so which is good news for us and then we can start it so this is running fine MS Office and on both the servers so now we are good and ready to publish the application so from the start button I'm going to click on publish application also you can select from here and then you can click on add so it's going to ask you what you want to publish and from here you will see publish application so I'm going to publish the application so all servers inside and uh, server group so I'm going to select this group RDS server and also you can select the individual server so I'm going to select group and my RDS session host group and then click next and then it's going to run the scan for the all the application which is available in these two RDS session host server so you can see what we have like Excel we have a Outlook we have a PowerPoint we have all these things which we can publish so this is good and now click on next and now you can see the server to be published and group and the server name win2k16 rds01 and 02 and we are going to publish five applications excel word outlook publisher and powerpoint so click next and now you can see it's starting publishing process and five application has been published and it's super fast now can click on apply to commit the changes and if I go to publish now you can see we have five application published now and let's verify the properties so you can see like add a new folder you can put in new folder you can like duplicate disable delete everything you have you ha you can see the setting audit if you want and if you want to re revert to any setting audit uh, you can always go and revert here you can see so uh, this is good and now you can see all the details here like application number and who publishes who modified everything is the their concurrent license and from publishing from where it's publishing from this group you can modify this later on also if you want and from the application you can see what it's publishing uh, what is the target for this application which is MS Office 16 Excel.exe which is going to launch and you can always change the icon also if you want so I'm not going to change and you have a filtering if you want to do any fi like filtering IP based MAC address based gateway user based anything you can do that filtering then you have a file extension what type of file you want to like open with this so for example you can enable this if you want to you know publish these application with these always for with these uh, like f uh, extension so you can apply this and you have a licensing feature and you have also display so this feature you can see for all the application if you want to modify anything and this uh, publishing related to application feature you can go ahead and do this 
so this is all how you can publish application by using the Parallels Remote Application Server and in next video I'm going to connect these application to our client machines and we'll see how it's going to look like from the client side so this is all about publishing application in Parallels so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me in my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.